Rockstar Games have confirmed that Grand Theft Auto 6 is not coming to PC. The biggest game of non-Nintendo platforms, the biggest game in the industry, some people would argue, the biggest game ever, you know, the follow-up to the 100 million selling Grand Theft Auto 5 is not launching on PC, right? It might take a year, it might take longer than that, it might not come out at all, but we are at the point where... This alone, I think, kind of demonstrates why the PC platform cannot remain competitively viable. Because even if a single dev like this, right, a single major developer refuses to support PC, refuses to release it on any PC platform, right, that is a major blow against the narrative that PC is the dominant gaming platform. Because why exactly would you buy a PC if you're the sort of person who's like eagerly awaiting the, the release of Grand Theft Auto 6, right? If you're the sort of person who like desperately wants this game to come out, who have been waiting for like over 10 years for this, like why would you wait longer for the PC version when you could just buy a P PlayStation? Or an Xbox, right? For me, the for me, someone who's like not going to buy Grand Theft Auto Six on day one anyway, or might maybe ever, right? Uh, someone like me is like sitting here thinking that like, well, I can wait. I don't need the game. I, I'm never buying a PlayStation or an Xbox. Like, it's not a big deal for me at all. Right. But when you look at like the vast majority of people who buy gaming PCs explicitly for these major AAA releases, like the fact that like the this game is not coming out on PC day one for this major AAA release is a big deal. Right. This is going to drive console sales. This is going to get console players to make fun of PC. This is going to lead to uh you know, PlayStation and Xbox is getting in more homes. It is going to lead to, like, uh, it is going to be this thing that kind of drives people away from PC. This goes against the narrative, the very carefully constructed narrative that all of the biggest games come out on PC, right, <laughs> in a playable state, like, day one, right? Like, this, in and of itself contradicts the very notion and not only that like i'm seeing rockstar releasing statements how they don't want to release the game on steam and how they want their own launcher and how they want to do this this and this and like it's possible that in the future that like grand theft auto might become a major driving force for getting pc gamers away from steam which in and of itself might lead into this disaster scenario where you know, you have to have a bunch of different launchers for a bunch of different games. Like, that's already kind of happening with the Epic Game Store, right? But, like, with Grand Theft Auto doing it, it's going to get worse. Like, the Steam Monopoly is not going to last forever, right? And I, and I think there are a bunch of players in the PC gaming sphere who are trying who are trying to do it. And I, I think if Steam didn't have such, like, blind, loyal fanboys, it would never have been, like, treated like this monolith that it, that it is even though even now it's not really a monopoly it's uh it's gonna be interesting seeing uh grand theft auto 6 come out and seeing just like you know, you know pc gamers fail to like really leave a debt in this game's success because you know like even now you know that like not releasing on PC is not going to affect Rockstar's bottom line at all, right? This is a major blow against PC gaming. This is an example of just how small and irrelevant the PC gaming platform actually is, right? This is an example of why PC gaming is never, ever going to be competitively viable against like real consoles, right? Like that is the real problem we're seeing here now. It's it's crazy. And I'm sure PC gamers are going to do the same thing they did with Grand Theft Auto 5 and I believe with 4 and maybe even San Andreas where like they'll try to convince you that like, "Oh, if we wait a while, we'll get the definitive version of the game, but people are already playing the game." Right? People are playing 
people are playing the the brand new game before you are. This idea that like, oh, I'll have the better version when it comes out, it's like cuck logic, right? Like it's the video game equivalent of like saying that like, oh, but my wife comes home to me. Like it's it's the same exact concept, right? You are a cuckold right you love being being screwed over by these companies you just you think about it constantly you obsess over it you uh you do live streams talking about how skull girls is censored or whatever like that's the pc gaming audience right like that's all they care about that's all they talk about that's all they discuss like that is the reality of their situation is that they they talk about games less than they do do uh talking about like degenerate stuff and and just like nonsense that like nobody really cares about right you just know that they're gonna try to pass this off as like not a big deal or or not all that uh not all that important. M meanwhile, they're going to be like hyping up Baldur's Gate 3 as the biggest release of the year, even though it's trailing well behind Starfield, Hogwarts Legacy, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Like there are plenty of games that came out this year that are like obviously bigger and better than Baldur's Gate 3, but you won't see PC gamers acknowledge it. And when GTA 6 doesn't come out on PC, like, these guys are going to say the game is trash until it comes out on their preferred platform, right? Uh, it is it is a complete joke, okay? It is ridiculous. It is absurd. I think more people really need to call this out for what it is. Like, I, I do think that, like, uh, the image that the PC Master Race have put forward of, like, being the the of being like the uh the platform for like the hardcore gamer right the the platform for someone who wants to play all of the games right uh you know the definitive version of all the games right like that illusion it's it doesn't mesh up with reality and i've been talking about this a lot but the thing i've noticed is that i have no real desire to keep talking about this endlessly because like there just aren't a lot of examples of relevant games that are coming out. So not only is, like, PC gaming not getting the biggest release of, like, the next couple of years, right? So not only is that happening, like, they're also not getting good games in general. Like, I can tell you that I was, um, that I looked to the Steam sale and I, uh, I bought everything I was interested in. Like, you know, I bought Grand Theft Auto V, I bought, like, Doom... 2016 and Doom Eternal. I bought like a bunch of Yeast games. I bought like Tales of Arise, right? Like I, I bought a lot of stuff, but like a lot of the stuff I bought wasn't that good, right? A lot of the stuff I bought wasn't like fantastic. You know, like Tales of Arise, I think is the only game I really, really am crazy about. Oh, and Doom 2016. Well, dude, <sighs> Doom 2016 is deeply flawed as much as I enjoy it, but like Tales of Arise is great. So like what games would I be looking forward to play on, on Steam, right? There's nothing there. Nothing that I haven't played on other platforms anyway. Like, I played Doom 2016 on the Switch, right? So, why exactly is, is Steam, like, the definitive gaming platform? Like, why exactly is it, like, better than the other competitors? Because it doesn't have the Nintendo games, it doesn't have the Rockstar games, it doesn't have, like, a bunch of things. The things it does get, like Baldur's Gate 3, are, are overhyped, right? You know, games like Elden Ring just aren't as good as they're cracked out to be, cracked up to be. Like, what exactly makes PC gaming so spectacular? And not a single person has been able to explain why not having GTA 6 is an exciting thing for PC gaming.